Queensland with the first Mars Sheffield Shield clash of the summer and it is Swepson who's the hero at the end. Oh, catch him, yeah! Mitch has got a, a basically a stress fracture in his neck, so very similar to all the fast bowler stress fractures you hear about. It's just very unusual that it's actually in the neck, so usually it's a, a load bearing you know, issue with, with bowler's actions. And I guess it's similar with him as well, it is an action related injury because he does laterally flex and rotate his neck a lot when he bowls, but I think it comes down to probably workload is the biggest factor. Again, and then you're going to turn your head to the left. There. Just a touch. Just a touch. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Like right at the end. Okay. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. When you go to the right, do you feel anything? Nothing. So just something on that yeah. quadrant. Yeah. Why don't we have a small hit with that and a, a short bowl? Yeah. Reassess yeah. whether it's sore at all afterwards yeah. on those test positions. If they're fine, yeah. then we know we can progress on. They're sort of our best tests. Yeah. And is it just like obviously a matter of if I feel anything, just stop? Yep, yep. Any sort it must of be pain. symptom free. Yeah. So, no stiffness, no tightness, no soreness, no nothing. Yep. Okay. Felt really good, yeah. Um, obviously, quite um, slow movement, so. I was just working on trying to keep that head nice and straight, um, keep my neck as still as possible really. Um, obviously don't want to do anything that's going to make it worse. So, um, But yeah, with, with that was, it felt great, didn't feel any pain, didn't feel um, uncomfortable at all. So um, yeah, good signs. At the moment it's still that scan that I've got in, in a couple of weeks time that um, I'm, I'm obviously still waiting on that. So. Um, but yeah, after after doing that, after bowling, obviously feel like I uh, things are looking positive. So that's that's always good. Um, but obviously, it might be a different story if I come off the full run and, and um, put some oomph behind the, the ball. It might be a bit different. So we'll just have to wait and see. Play play. In. I'm sort of surprised myself, I guess, at um, how good I'm feeling at this point. So it's great that I can hit with no pain and um, yeah, get some balls under my belt that way as well. It's currently about four and a half weeks, so we've got a, you know, that 10 days to go to have that scan. Um, that's just a, a number that we use, six weeks. Um, we, we do that for all the low back injuries as well, just to, sh to sh see that the scans show healing. We're not expecting necessarily the, he the fractures healed. Certainly wouldn't have been a low back stress fracture, but being a cervical one, which we haven't seen before, the bone's a lot smaller, so therefore there's less to heal. So does it heal quicker because there's less area to heal? We don't know. So we'll do six weeks. We're aiming to make sure we see healing there. Um, it'd be unlikely that it's healed fully, um, but we'll see at that scan. This is your CT, um, this is six weeks after your fracture and you just see a fracture here but it's a lot, lot better. I think there is uh, a chance you'll be available for selection for the next Sheffield Shield game. Yeah, really good news. Um, yeah, sort of surprised me a little bit. Um, they, they're obviously really happy with um, how it's healed. They, it's healed a lot more than what they thought it would at this stage so they've basically given me the, the thumbs up that the risk is quite low if I was to come back and play that it would happen again or stir the injury up so with that being said they're, they're basically happy for me to um, prepare for, for the next Shield game which is um, yeah the, really the news I was wanting to hear.